Hello and welcome to this video where we check out Neuron Writer and we will find out if Neuron Writer is still worth using in 2024. Now we will do this by looking at a highly competitive search term, car accident lawyer in Chicago. I will go on a quick tangent here and say that this is a great keyword to analyze because you can see that there are lots of internal URLs ranking, which means somebody has gone through the effort of creating an SEO optimized article to rank this internal page. Compared to other search terms where you often see the home pages ranking and there it's harder to analyze uh, what actually makes those pages rank because on the home page people usually don't have that much text included. So this is a cool keyword to get started with. And in this video, you will also find out my major complaint that I have with Neuron Writer, which has to do with the way how they score keywords. So right off the bat, you can see here uh, the word count that the articles have. The number one article, 8,000 words. So therefore, the more words, the better, right? <laughs> Almost 10,000. That's crazy. And then we have here 7,000 words and 6,000 words ranking in number 10. So we must be able to learn something uh, from these uh, search terms. And let's now see how NeuronWriter would score an article that we would write. On this screen here, we can select uh, certain competitors. I would recommend to keep all of the top 10 in there unless you see some websites that are kind of directory sites. But apart from that, keep all of the top 10, even pages that have a low score because those pages uh, may still rank for a reason and you might want them in there um, regardless to see why they are ranking and to compare their NLP to yours. So we will now go back to see, to click here on the top left, it's called top analysis. I'm a little bit off screen here. But what it shows us is again the list of 100 um, articles. And let me highlight this so we can see the numbers a bit clearer. I would choose now a low ranking article and we will improve that together. So here we have the word count. Let's choose an article that already has a somewhat decent word count start here with this article that's only scoring a 53 and it has 2500 words so we will import their article so now that we have imported the article that we're looking to improve I will directly show you the main problem here with uh, the score that Neuron Writer provides to you you can see that we have a score of 48 at the moment and I will copy a bunch of lorem ipsum text in here um, this is probably around three to four hundred words of lorem ipsum text, so quite a bit of uh, words over here. Um, and yet our score has improved from 49 to 55. Um, this is not how Google works because Google is using algorithms like BM25. And BM25 compares the number of occurrences of your keyword, so the frequency, how often has your keyword been mentioned, compared to the total length of the text. And the problem here is that if you have a longer document, but you only added the keyword once, and all of this rest here is lorem ipsum text, Google would heavily mark you down, whereas Neuron Writer gives you more points essentially. So there's no incentive for your copywriters, if they use Neuron Writer, to keep the article short and concise because they can just keep piling on um, oftentimes repetitive stuff inside of your article and you will be heavily downmarked for that. So it's really important to note that this is a big uh, lack and problem in Neuron Writer that you can essentially have a thousand words of lorem ipsum and you mention the keyword once and then you have a good score in Neuron Writer and that's not at all how Google works. However, there are a few good things about Neuron Writer still. Um, so I like the feature that you can see all of the outlines of the competitor here um, pretty easily. You need to pay specific attention to all of the questions that are being asked, asked because uh, Google will 
try to compute a relevance score of those questions compared to the original query and then try to find out uh, whether you are answering that user search intent in a concise way and the pages that answer more users questions tend to do better on average hence why you see some of these pages here having 8,000 words so because neuron writer doesn't check for repetitiveness for example uh, make sure to use a tool like unfluff.io which is free to use you copy and paste your article in here and you run the check and then you click highlight and when you scroll down this will highlight sections that seem repetitive like here it uh, said if you review the facts this is in your best best interest sounds very generic um, what else has it highlighted what to do if the driver doesn't have insurance and here it's highlighted quite a few other things that uh, would seem repetitive also to users so that's a great tool to use uh, and then you should also ask ChatGPT to uh, read over this article, find repetitive sections and find opportunities to shorten the article without losing context and details in the article, which would help you to remove fluff words from the article too. So in conclusion, um, NeuronWriter is still a good tool to use to optimize your articles uh, because the LSI keywords will continue to be effective for the simple reason that search engines run uh, the algorithm in two steps. Firstly, they run cheaper algorithms like BM25 to check the frequency of keywords and including the frequency of LSI keywords because those LSI keywords build the inverse index which maps the query to the documents. And therefore, if you have that potential query, such as um, car accident attorney instead of um, lawyer you're now mapping that car accident attorney query to your page so it gives you additional opportunities to rank and think of these more as additional opportunities to rank and to meet the search demand of a user who happened to use the word attorney don't try to just spam these lsi keywords just because of it um, just use them intentionally in those sections where it might make sense. So overall, definitely still a recommendation from me to keep using uh, this tool. Just be aware of the limitations and try to keep your writing concise because the length of your writing absolutely matters, uh, both to users and to search engines, whereas this tool is not helping you at all to check that. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.